What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. General G here, and welcome to SnowRunner. We are going to be playing this game. I, I tried it out a little bit. You can see I've got a little extra cash there. But I'm going to try a new game for the sake of making a new video. Uh, we're just going to do a new slot. So I have to admit, I was watching this game. I was watching Raptor play this game, and I on YouTube and I was just like you know what is the you know what's the appeal to this I don't really I don't really understand what uh, is so drawing about this but you know I started playing this game yesterday and you know what now I'm wondering why the heck I've never played this game because this game is absolutely fun and absolutely amazing it is so much fun I'm super excited to get into a new video series and start playing this so let's do it okay Yes, we know. I mean, look at that. That's cool. I wish we could uh, let's see if we can skip the. How do we skip the tutorial? You know. Oh well, we'll just do it. So that's where we got to try to go. Where am I? Right here. Okay. Let's get on down the road here. I mean, I've never had so much fun driving a truck at five miles an hour through the mud. We need to get into a four-wheel drive here. A little bit of mud. So this is a uh, this is a scout vehicle. This is a vehicle that you can kind of go up certain roads that you normally couldn't in a, in a different type of truck, so. Let's get back into auto, see if we can get out of that. Get going a little faster. When you get in those low gears, man, you just start to, you go really slow. But man, look at that. That is just, the scenery in this game is just absolutely stunning, and the and the graphics in the tr in the trucks I mean that's cool I mean I like that I'm super excited to play this game super stoked well here's to hoping everybody had a good Christmas if you're new to the channel welcome we play certain games quite a bit this is a new one for us but we are uh, we play This Land is My Land and um, uh, several other different games. Just have to check out the videos on the channel and always open for suggestions on different games to play. As to the lumber yard, I'm thinking we can make it up and around this way. So, where are we trying to go here? Wonder if I should have gone up the uh, up the lumber road. Yeah, maybe that way. Yeah, but welcome. It's almost the new year, almost 2022, and we've been going fair, relatively strong on this channel for about two or three months now. Would definitely like to get my subscriptions up, but I'm not really sure how to go about doing that. What I do want to do is, first of all, start playing new, some new games, obviously like this one. This one was, I found this one and was immediately drawn into it. Um, and, and I'm open to other suggestions of other types of games. I want to try Farm Simulator 22. I have not played that one. Not yet. I've played Farm Simulator 19, but not 22. And, uh, you know, try some new games, uh, get a new setup. Uh, maybe start trying to do some live streams. See, like, I like that fox right there, right in front of us. That's cool how they, they, there's animals that kind of fade in and out as you're driving around. Dangerous water level. Oh, man, that's beautiful. But yeah, I'm super excited to to get into 2022 with this uh, with this channel and see what we can't accomplish this next year. Uh, lots of support. I got to thank everybody that has that has subscribed and has watched my videos. I mean, I'm getting the, my watch hours are way up, so I appreciate that. Could not do it without you guys. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, I was gonna say there should be a road up that direction. Um, 
yeah, but definitely, I want to try just some new things, you know, maybe try doing some live streams, um, maybe try a new mic setup because the mic I have right now is just on my headset and it's not very good. Um, just try some different things to try to um, appeal more to everybody that's watching and, and help people out ultimately, you know, help people out playing the games and, and having fun watching the games and, and all that different stuff. I mean, look at that, man. That is, it is so cool. I think just the light reflections through the trees, like that is cool. That's, that's cool. And like the light reflection off the ground and in the mud. I mean, oh man, there's just so much to enjoy about this game. I don't know if I can make it through this mode. It's a little muddy here. Oh yes, they've set me up for success right away. Very good, very good. Super excited to help out this little Michigan town. I've never been to Michigan myself, but you know what? It looks like a pretty place. My family was from Michigan. They were Michiganders. Cool. So once you once you find these watchtowers, it opens up a bunch of different places or like the surrounding area on the map so one of the objectives is to definitely do that let's go ahead and go get some fuel we'll come down yeah we'll come straight down this way but yeah I hope everybody had a good Christmas and looking forward to the new year new year's goals for this channel is definitely to get subscriptions up definitely try some new things Stay out of the mud pit. Ooh. Kind of flew into that one there. There we go. Oh man, what are the gas prices? Three forty-seven. Well, that's pretty, uh, pretty, dis you know, pretty accurate. Let's go ahead and fuel up. Let's move on down the road now. Where are we supposed to go now? Uh, we need to go back and get our truck, I guess. And we'll go exploring a little bit. We'll come up this way and head back over to the other side. We could go through town as well, but we'll, we'll go check out these off-road areas. So this road's washed out. It's been washed out, so we have to go around here. But we'll go pick up our next truck. And what is it? Let's see. It is a... GMC MH9500. All right. Let's get on down the road. Man, look at that scenery. I've never flipped the Chevy, but... I had a scout, and man, that thing is top heavy. I flip that thing more often than you can get that thing anywhere, though. All right, there's the watchtower we were just at. All right. One thing that I do think is pretty cool about this game as well is that um, you know you have your normal roads here that are pretty muddy and pretty bad, but if you go off the road. So let's say I go this way. I'm going to go this way off the road to avoid that mud pit. Well, you continue to deteriorate the the off side of the road there. And you can e you make that make the off side of the road or make the road wider and make it just as bad as the middle of the road. So it's pretty cool. You can basically drive wherever you want. This is the lumber mill. So let's go ahead and take a peek in there real quick. We'll take out the sign too. Bush stog. So this is where we can get lumber. Very nice, but now we gotta get our other pickup. Man, nice and muddy up this way. Oh, look at that beauty. Look at this trailer park, too. Nice. 
You have discovered your first highway truck. This truck is designed for roads, so they are not there. There are no off-road options included. Try not to fall into the swamp or do drive into deep mud with it. Oh. Oh, we're gonna try it. So we can find more trucks, but right now we're gonna go here. Let's see. Here's our list of trucks here, and we're gonna get into this sucker. Oh man. Nevada? We're a long ways from home. Cool. You can also drive in first person mode too, which is kind of cool. A lot more difficult to do it this way. And you know, I've tried to take some roads when I was messing around on this game, I was trying to take some roads. And it's actually really difficult to do it in this mode, but you know, in real life it would probably be, you know, much easier because you'd be looking out the window and all that stuff. So let's see what an objective could be. Let's see. So we need wooden planks times two and metal beams at the old bridge. So let's go ahead and activate that one. And so this is the old bridge here. This is kind of where we just came down from. We need to get some steel beams or metal beams, which are up here. And then the lumber is right here. So we'll go ahead and go to the metal, the steel beams first. Or get metal beams first. Yeah. Let's go up this way and check it on out. Oh, she doesn't turn on a dime, does she? Man, that looks beautiful. And I've only found like four trucks in this whole game, so... I'm excited to see what all I can find. And riding on that air suspension, look at that thing float. Look at her go. Super cool. Oh, doing some sliding going on here. We'll go over here and grab some metal beams real quick and then we'll get back, drop those off at the bridge and then we are going to get some wooden planks. So I, had, I, had, uh, I hadn't really played too many uh, simulator games like this in all honesty. I really haven't, but I've been wanting to get more into them, and I'm super glad that I picked this one, because, I mean, what's not to like about this? Look at this old, kind of an older older town, older trucks. Honestly, you know what this makes me want to do? It makes me want to uh, get a Scout or something and rebuild it. Get something old, like an old four-wheel drive from the 60s or 70s, and rebuild that thing. Okay, let's go ahead and set the handbrake so we can load these metal beams. That's what we need, so let's load it. And let's get on down the road. Go deliver these back to the bridge. Oops. Trying to get rid of that information tip there. Country store for sale for anybody who's interested. our road here? Nope. Oh, we're, we're, we are rebuilding this one. That's right. I was thinking this washout here. Ooh, man, it's starting to get a little dark. Go ahead and turn on the headlights here. truck driver. Get that bounce around. Try to stay out of the mud and bog and stuff. This one doesn't do so well on those ones. This one's definitely more of a highway driver. Although she's got low gears too, so we'll, I mean it she just doesn't have all-wheel drive, so... Like on the pickup, we could take it into all-wheel drive or, or uh, 
you know, differential locks, things like that. But this one, she only pushes from the rear here. So, you know, you got eight tires, but you can only do so much. Man, we need to get this sucker painted up too. We need to change the color on it, change the, put some stickers on this guy. Dangerous water level, I doubt it for a truck like this. Man, there we go. And I've never had a CDL. I thought about trying to get one one time, but I never did. I've driven the, oh, what is it? I wanna say it's a class E or class B, or I don't know what it is. I, f I forget what it is, but for like farm, equipment and stuff we used to we used to drive around with the uh, gooseneck trailers and stuff hauling tractors around the farm but uh, so I had to get a special license to do that but I never had to get a CDL because it was just for pickups and and gooseneck trailers but I'll tell you what this makes me want to try to I don't necessarily want to drive a big rig down uh, through downtown Oklahoma City or something but Okay, are we there? Go ahead and set the brake. And we'll unload that. Oh, man. Cherry. Okay. Let's go get some wooden beams now. Yeah, I've never driven a dump truck. Never driven a... Anything like this. I guess this doesn't really classify as a semi, but, you know, just like a heavy-duty truck biggest thing I've ever driven is probably a F F-350. But we used to tote around some different tractors and stuff that was the, the gross vehicle weight or whatever had to be was above the normal license level so I did have to go get a special license. Now that's been long expired but you know. I don't do as much work on the farm anymore. I don't live on the farm anymore. That's okay. I miss it every day. Man, that just looks so cool. I'm just super thrilled with this game. I probably should have got it on Steam. I got this on Xbox Pass because uh, it's free on Xbox Pass, but um, you have to pay for all the DLCs, I think. So we're not playing with all the DLCs. But, um, yeah. I like I like Steam because it kind of gives you the whole package, but I already... I was free on the Xbox, so I was like, eh. Oh, man. Look at this mud ball grind to get this baby through. Okay, let's try to stay in the dry ground. Load up some wooden planks here. Let's get a move on. Hopefully we can get out of this. Now, if you're watching this game, you probably have already played it because it's not a new game. But, you know, you know if there is, if you get stuck and you get in a situation that you can't get out, you do have a winch on these trucks. So, we'll get to where we play around with those here in a little bit, for sure. We're going to get this first bridge done, get a little bit of money going, and maybe we can get to our next objective and try to get another truck. This one's cool, too. I just like to have a fleet. I just I want to play this game and get one of everything. That's how I like to play it. If we're playing this land as my land, I want to craft, I want to un unlock everything and craft one of everything and build one of everything. And same in this one. I want to get one truck of everything and try out all the different styles of things that we can put on them. Now I'm not really sure if this one is if this one has the ability to get all-wheel drive. I'm not sure. But she does alright on roads like this when it's not raining. There we go. So we have the ability to go into lower gears. We'll do it up here once we get across the bridge. Go ahead and leave the Chevy there for now. Sidestep. step. 
get this bridge up and running here. All right, look at that. Up go the beams. I didn't deliver the asphalt, but I delivered the wood. Profit balance eight. Oh, we got eight thousand dollars. Cool. Here, 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 and here. All right, so the best thing we can do is, uh, yep, find the garage. Best thing we can do is find trucks and find upgrades for those trucks and just can continue to complete objectives. I, you cannot complete all the objectives with this truck. <laughs> this truck is very, very limited in the, in the places that it can go. Whoa, there we go. Get her going a little fast downhill. Go ahead and first person see what she looks like. I mean, look at that, man. Look at the dashboard and the and the all the controls there. That reminds me of my my uncle's got a '70s Ford. Reminds me a lot of that that style. My great grandfather had a Jeep Scrambler. Looks very similar to that as well. Uh oh. Oh yeah, baby, keep going. Yes. Now we couldn't make it through something like that, but or that over there. Hey, look at there. There's a pickup. <laughs> Beautiful country. Yeah, but like I was saying, I don't. I don't kind of makes me want to go off-roading. <laughs> doesn't really want to make me drive a truck through you know some big downtown city or something I've driven through downtown Denver I've driven through downtown or through Oklahoma City and all those other places like that and man that is not fun I don't know how you big city folk do it driving around in big cities like that all day I, I can't do that I'm from a small town smaller anyways well here comes the garage all right, all right. Oh, complete with windmill? Oh, yes. Yes, please. Let's go ahead and get in there. That sucker's going to be our next one right there. Garage discovered. You have discovered your first garage. What you have done so far is the meat of the game. Explore and discover watchtowers, complete contracts to earn rewards, and find garages to improve or buy new vehicles. Now... Let's get inside. Oh man, here's an upgrade. Engage all-wheel drive, not available for current truck, but I, we can definitely get it for that Fleet Star. Okay, cool. Well, that, that's what we look for across the map. So we look for upgrades just like that. And they're just kind of stashed. See, here's one way over here. We might be able to get up there with the Chevy, I'm not sure. We'll have to check it out and see if we can't get that upgrade. Let's get in the garage real quick. I love the music too. <laughs> oh yes. The garage is used to store, upgrade, and customize buy and sell vehicles, but also for traveling to other regions. Okay. You don't have to complete everything in your current location. Okay. Let's customize this, this puppy here. First thing we want to do got it let's check it out I kind of wish I could rotate it oh there we go nice like look at the detail on that that is just oops that is just cool little rust spots and stuff makes you want to get something old and make it nice again yellow's kind of tacky orange looks like a state or a state driver let's see let's see ours what are these? Oh, well, that's the ones we already had with the pinstripes. Hmm. Purple? Oh, man. Go with the nice, uh... We'll do a nice green for now. Let's do that. And let's go ahead and put... Let's see if we can get some free accessories here. Bobbleheads. I mean, $800? No, thank you. Um, 
Six hundred dollars? No, thank you. Curtains? What the heck? Oh my gosh, that is just no way. We don't want none of that. Take my winch. Apply that. Exterior stickers. Nah, we don't want any of that stuff. Windshield stickers. Alright, that's good enough for now. What do we have for customizations here? Uh, we can get the Westline V6. Oh no, that's what we do have. We can get this one here. This one is actually a better quality. Or We're at B plus, B plus here. Or A minus, so now we're doing good there. So we don't have the high range off-road. We cannot upgrade, but you can get an idea. Yes, go away. You can get an idea of how how these things do that. And we, and we don't have... We don't have... Hey, now. We can only get the highway tires for now. The rest of them are locked. Wouldn't mind getting some all-terrains. I don't know about off-roads. Maybe some off-roads, but without all-wheel drive, I mean, is it worth it? I'm not sure. Chain tires, look at that. Man, that is just cool. Winch, upgrade that sucker. Differential lock, I don't know if we have that. I don't know if it really matters on this truck. Snorkel, probably needed to get that eventually. This is only rear, rear, rear wheel drive, but these are the additions that we can put on. A heavy crane, log front. I've never used these, so flatbed. Anyways, we can do all those different things. Let's go ahead and leave the garage. Okay, let's travel to Alaska. They want us to go to Alaska. Alright. We want to retain it. Go to Alaska. Okay. Enter the garage. Now we're in Alaska. Oh my gosh. Looks chilly. Alaska, USA. Never been there either. Always wanted to go. I might just make it there someday. Okay. It's empty because your vehicle is still in storage. Hopefully they put that deep freeze antifreeze in there so we didn't crack the head. Let's go ahead and go to truck storage. Deploy this guy. Your vehicle has been deployed. Now let's leave the garage and go explore Alaska. Okay. Woo. Welcome to Alaska. Now you know the basics of the game. It's up to you to scout, accept contracts, upgrade. Got it. We got nothing to explore here. Nothing. I don't even know how far we can make it. Got a trailer here. It looks awfully icy here. Okay, trailer store, good, good. Flatbed trailer discovered, good. Let's go scope it out. Oh, look at the ice on the ground. I mean, anybody that's trying, I mean, I might not live in Alaska, but I've seen roads like this. That looks cool. I mean, and, and honestly, one of the things that I really find uh, very satisfying, uh oh. I mean, look at the uh, the tracks. Everywhere your truck drives, it leaves an imprint on the on the road in snow and in the mud. I I really appreciate that detail. Well, let's see if we can get through here. I don't know. Not really set up for this. Okay. Go ahead and switch to low. We want to get that get that thing out of here. We don't want to do that. I want to I want to go to that pole right there, right? Right. Oh, whatever. There we go. So you can deploy your winch and try to pull yourself out of situations like this. We're not doing, I mean, it's not doing too bad. We're not, like, stuck in mud or anything. It's just too cold. Uh 
Oh, we're getting there. Now, will we be able to get back? I don't know. Try to get us moving in the right direction here. Now, there is an option to recover your vehicle back to the garage if you get stuck, but we're not stuck yet. Oh, buddy, we're... Oh, yeah, we're making some headway now, boy. Get after it, son. Woohoo! I wish I would go to that pole. There we go. Help us out a little bit. Go back to our all auto here. Speed up just a hair and let's go check it out. Watch out for them mooses. Oh man. Well, you'd think there'd be some Okay. So we just came the wrong way, I think. Let's see. Go to our objectives here. Service parts, which we can get at the service hub, and we need to deliver to the pipeline up here. So we just came all this way for nothing. So let's go ahead and back up here. Take out this pole, because who's who needs that? We'll just we'll pay for that later, sir. Let's get back over to the service hub where we can get some look at that, spraying mud all over or something. All right, let's try to get it. Look at that pipeline, man. That is a cool, that's that's a big pipeline. I think that is like a 30 inch pipeline, 36 inch pipeline, 40 inch, who knows? There we go, get back into those lower gears and kind of stay off the main road here where it's... I mean, look at the detail on the snow. Oh, oh man. I am super impressed with this game. I can, probably won't stop saying that. We don't want to pull all the trees out. We want to save them for... This big old truck, it would pull them straight out of the ground. Yep, almost. Let's get... Never want to give up. Never give up. All right, let's get to that service hub. Now we're just playing ice road truckers, you know. Uh -uh. Well, we know we can't make it up there, so we'll stick to the highway. Try not to hit the uh, railing here. Because it's icy, and you can feel and you can feel the ice. See, I did that on purpose just to show you guys, but it, it'll slide around like crazy. I like that. I like that aspect. If you've never driven on anything like this, man, this is pretty accurate. A little bit too much of a turn, and you're jacked or jackknifed, right? Okay, here's the service hub, not too bad. Let's get on in there. I don't know what we're splattering mud or something there. Yeah, I know we already did this thing. Okay, so we're looking for service parts. There we go. service parts and take it back over here to these guys. Service parts times two. Alright, well we're, we're well on our way here. So when you that little uh, wrench and screwdriver up here, that also means that it'll it'll, uh, it'll make your truck it, it'll fix any dents and stuff or, or damage that it has. Let's see what this one is. Containers in the river. Name's Pete. I work for a transport company called Alaskan Transit. 
We've had an unfortunate accident that results in containers of tools stuck in the river. Can you locate them and get them to the base? Uh, maybe later, Pete. Did we get that one here? Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and accept it so we have it on our list. But we want to make sure that we're still tracking on the other one. Yeah, we're still tracking on that one. We're Oh, it's starting to get dark. It's starting to get dark and frosty. Come to a complete stop there. Oh, she broke loose there. Did you see that? She's trying to throw me off the road. Now, I would think that if you were fully loaded, you would probably have more traction control, but I don't know. So, we'll see if we can make it back through that slippery spot over there, uh, fully loaded like this, if it makes it any easier. Slipping and sliding there. Hmm. Oh man, look at that snow. That is so cool. Give me a drink of water. Okay. I don't know. I think we're actually making it through. Oh man, I got a frog in my throat. We did. Didn't even need the winch. So, I would say fully loaded, at least in this biome or whatever you want to call it, this state of ice and not so much mud fully loaded it is a good, is a good thing let's go ahead and drop this stuff off here boom all right now what we're going to do we're going to go back to michigan we're going to go back there and play around in that area for now We'll, we'll be back, Alaska. We'll be back. Just kind of want to unlock some some uh, upgraded wheels, at least something that has chains, so we can get through this stuff a little bit easier. We'll have to. We'll be back. <clears throat> And see, if you don't feel like doing this, you can always just go here, recover it, and it'll take it right back to the garage for you. So let's retain it, go back to Michigan. Um, yeah, go back to the garage here. And then we'll get our trucks back out. Maybe. There we go. Loading up. We're loading up now. So. Go ahead and deploy this guy again. And. Oh, we want to, we want to leave the garage. So, what we want to do is we want to go find this guy. So we have this pickup, or this truck, this big rig, but we want this other one. 
So they left it here for us. <clears throat> it doesn't run, but it will once we're done here. So all you got to do is go here, throw your winch on it, and drag it back. drag it into the garage or we'll go ahead and leave it there and then we'll go we'll hop in that one take that into the garage there all right fully repaired let's go ahead and customize customize it this one has all-wheel drive um, yep this one already has it and we don't have a snorkel. Probably ought to get a snorkel on it. We'll do that. There's not much we can do as far as suspension goes. All this stuff's still pretty locked out, but once we do, I wouldn't mind getting some of these or some like uh, all-terrain tires for this guy. Eventually, we'll get there. But for now, this is a beast. Let's go ahead and paint it. What do we want? We don't want it to look like a state truck. Let's get the pinstriping going on here. What do we got here? That looks good. Let's see. Yeah, that's too much of a baby blue. Red, that looks like a beast. Oh, we're going to do red. All right, let's leave the garage. What do we want to do first? Let's see. We can go following power lines. Let's go see if we can get rid of the get rid of those power lines that are in the road. Now, well, let's hop back in the garage. So we don't have it. We have the ability now to pull like a semi trailer or something, but. For now, I think we should go ahead and throw on a. Let's go ahead and throw on a flatbed or something. Something cheap. Sideboard bed, flatbed. Well, I don't know if we can stack to, uh, stuff on there but with that one. But we're going to go ahead and put that one on there even though we don't have much money. We're going to go ahead and do that. That way we can use this truck to, to do our, our heavy lifting here. Okay, let's get... Let's go back down and see those power lines, see if there's something we can deliver to those. Now, the question is, which way do we want to go? We could go all the way around, or we could try to blaze a trail through here. Let's go ahead and go through here. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and go straight and see if we can't go that way. All-wheel drive not installed. I thought we had done that. Oh, we need all-wheel drive. Sorry, guys, we're doing loop to loops here, but I thought we put I thought we put all-wheel drive on that guy. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, now yeah, we have it. Oh yeah. Okay. Now we're hitting the road. Yeah, we need that all-wheel drive to get through uh, some of the muddy places that we're going to be going. Let's see here. Alright, we're going to hit some mud straight away. Now we can do engage the all-wheel drive and see it does amazing. This truck does amazing. so. That's why I want to get some all-terrain tires for it or something, because this is like a, this is the go-to beast here, and that's why we put a snorkel on it. Put a snorkel on it to keep it out of the water. That way we don't get any motor damage. All right. Out of there. 
of this boggy area. Ooh, agree. They've had some rain here. That's kind of the wrong direction. I'm going to go this way. Oh, buddy. Get that little tree out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need all the advice in the world. We want to go to that tree. There we go. Oh, slowly but surely, we're making it. There we go. All right, all right. Oop, oop, oop. Slipping and sliding all over the place here. Man, this is cool. Okay, where are we at now? So this is the farm. This is where you can get certain items. We want to go this way. We can open up to get some gas at that place and we can come down this way. Let's go that way and open up that. Uh, I just took the wrong turn. <laughs> Silly me. We don't want to go to the farm. We want to go this way. Try to open up some of these roads so we can actually access them. So we're currently driving in all-wheel drive. We are not driving in, driving in differential lock or low. So we still have options if we were to get stuck. I don't know if this one has differential lock. Let's see. Oh, it does. It does. And we don't need it, so we're gonna we're gonna leave it as our last options. Let's see how far we can get without it. I love the music on this game too, man. Talk about capturing the uh, trucker, hardworking man and woman style of things here. They did it. Alright, let's see if this is an objective that we can bring stuff to to open up this road. Whoa. That all-wheel drive kicking in. Turn that off. Oh. Woo. Man. Taking these corners a little too tight. Now, is this something we can... Of course. We came to the wrong side. Now, here's my real question. Can I go around? I have no idea. I'm going to try it. I'm going around. We are trying to go around. And if we if we were to fail miserably here, we can get it towed back to the garage. Okay, we are stopped. Okay, let's go to low differential lock. Nothing, okay. We might be able to squeak in back there. Oh, we can't go back in there. Okay. Yeah, it's telling me I was trying to go straight up. Let's just try to go right there. Let's see if we can't weasel around. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah, what does it need here? <laughs> okay, we can't get a darn thing done around here. The power lines are down, and we, and all we get from the town are excuses. Well, what are you waiting for? Do something about it. What do you need? Okay, so what do we need to do here? Let's see. 
we need to is this it oh no that's not that's not it farming tools no fallen power line metal beams and concrete blocks now I know the concrete blocks are over here at the warehouse the metal beams are up here we could go get metal beams oh we'll just use old little trusty here let's just go get it I like this truck this is a good truck let's get on after it now <laughs> and I'll shut up and we'll just jam out can damage your vehicle. And I hit the I hit the side railing there. It's all right. I don't know if I can make it over that way with that with that other with this truck. Just because you can make it with a scout vehicle doesn't mean you can make it with this these kind of trucks. So we're just going to go this way. We'll go the safe route. Man, this whole fleet star, she just eats up the road. there huh Okay. So we want to go ahead and load those with metal beams, absolutely. So we can't damage our vehicle enough to where we can't move. I've never done it, but There's a gas station up there, but I think we can make it back with the beams and then make it up to the next gas station to... So that we... I don't think we need gas quite... not quite yet. Sideways. Oh man. A little too much hit there. Too much bounce. 
Now, I don't know if there's any, if we'll ever have the option to come through and kind of main, maintain these roads. I don't know. I'm relatively new to this game, so I still don't really know what all we get to do. Part of the reason I came back to Michigan is because this is where I was messing around in the last day, just learning the game a little bit, and I know a little bit where I'm going here, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to get like a some type of tractor or something that we can bring over here and maintain the roads. You know, kind of, I have no idea. The only reason I say that is because I know when you go into the truck store you can buy like caterpillars and stuff. I don't know if they're bulldozers or what, but I don't know if you can come down and bulldoze these roads or if that's like specifically something else. I don't know. Love it. Old seats and everything. If you've ever driven in an old car or an old truck, something like that, you know the smell of it. A little bit of exhaust, a little bit of old leather, a little bit of oil. Concrete blocks are going to be a little bit more fun to get to, so. First load up here. <laughs> Nothing. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get. Go ahead and get around to the other side and we'll go up to the other spot where we got to get concrete blocks at. There we go. Kind of weasel our way over. Oh yeah, buddy, you can do it. Sweet. Oh. All right, now we'll go top off on some gas. What I like about it in this mode is you can zoom in and then you can see we're we're probably at three quarters of a tank. Dual tanks of course, but you can zoom in, so you can't see it there, but if you zoom in you can see your gas level. Sorry, I'm trying to do two different things. I'm trying to drive and do this at the same time. So we'll go top off before we head over the mountains here. I never would have thought that driving through the mountains in an old big rig like this, Fleet Star, with a flatbed trailer hauling concrete blocks would be fun. But you know what? This is actually, I would even venture to say, this is one of the funnest games I have played in a while. Okay. Let's go ahead and top this sucker off. What is this one here? Let's go ahead and see what. I like to open these up while I'm here. <clears throat> got a spot of trouble. We got a missing oil tanker. Cool. We'll just do we do that? That way, it puts it on the list over here. Missing oil tanker. But well, we're working on the fallen power line. Oh, the missing oil tanker's up there, anyways. Way up there. But we want to go. 
we're going here, so maybe we'll maybe we'll be able to take a look. Who knows? Okay, let's go. <clears throat> oh, that's just a power line. I thought that might have been a watchtower. Oh yay! End of the the road maintenance. <clears throat> so. We know we're getting rough now. Okay. Now I know it's one of these. I just gotta remember which one. <clears throat> I think it's past the watchtower, so. I could probably make it up to the watchtower with this one. Oh man, we're gonna have to do it. Oh man, we're gonna need stuff here too. Okay, so we're gonna have to do it on the, up this one. Got our all-wheel drive. Oh, she's enabled and we are going. We are ready. Oh, that is cool. Look at that that bucket. That where you can see a barrel spilt some, something out of there. Little details like that, man. That makes it very realistic to me. Well, we're going to have to go up to this watchtower regardless, so let's get a move on. so bad. Okay, so that opened up some areas here for us. So now we can see where we're going. This is the road that I was thinking we could go to, but we need to go this way. Um, yeah, we'll have to come back and forth up this way a little bit, a couple times, because they're gonna need some concrete blocks at that other bridge too. Now that, that's a troublesome rock right there. You wanna know why? Because when I played this game before, I tried to come up this road with a trailer. And I didn't make it up. <laughs> because of that rock. Oh well, gotta try it though. I mean, look at the fog in the mountains and the mud slinging and the trees and the sound of the old trucks. It's just, I mean, what's not to love about this? Getting through the mud, getting through it, we'll get through it. Yeah, drop down, drop down a gear. I didn't come that direction. If you played the game, you know why. I could make it through that. It would just take me a few, a little longer. I'll tell you what's really tempting. 
All right, what did they need on that other one? So we've got fallen, the mountain bridge, concrete blocks. Okay, so they need concrete blocks too. So what I think I'm gonna do, uh, oh yeah, we wanna go ahead and select the, select what we want here. And then, so we need concrete blocks at the power line, but we also need concrete blocks at that bridge. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go for it. We'll see if we don't make it through. What's well, the worst that can happen? Oh, you know what I mean? Worst that can happen is we gotta drop the trailer. But if we don't have to drop the trailer, we'll be sitting good. Okay, so now we're loaded down with about, I don't even know how much weight of stuff. Yeah, we are off, buddy. We're going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, let's see what we can do here. We are loaded down to the max. And we have our all-wheel drive kicked in, yep. All-wheel drive's kicked in. We have our reserve low gears and differential locks. We'll save those. And we have our winch, so we'll see how far we can get through these mountains here. Yeah, drop gears now. Slow and steady, but that's all right. We all know that wins the race. And these roads are rutted out like crazy. And it's hard because you got to pull that trailer through it. That's what makes it more difficult, obviously. But this old truck, man, this truck will do it. I have faith in this truck. Oh man, getting into some thick mud here. Now that little tree right there is not gonna do us much good. far as winching goes. Oh man. Ain't nothing but a thing. Ain't nothing but a thing. This guy I used to work with he used to say, ain't nothing but a chicken wing. Amen, brother. dirt. Look at the mud and the tracks. That's just, oh man. You're going to be hearing me sing praises about this game for a while. I really, really enjoy this game and I'll probably end up playing it quite a bit, guys. So I'll try to mix it up. We'll keep up some Total War and some This Land is My Land, but this has become one of my new favorite games. So can we make it up? I'd have to drop it down. Oh yeah, nothing. Nothing but a thing. Slowly but surely making our way up. So what I'll do is I'll drop these concrete blocks off in the trailer off on the other side of the bridge. Drop the trailer, come back and go up that way and then 
go to town, get the wooden planks that are required to fix the rest of that bridge. I think it needed planks. And then we'll bring it back and we'll, we'll have access at least halfway up this road. Not there. There we go. Nice. Alright, almost there. This is kind of the worst spot here. Whoa, whoa. Sometimes the rocks throw the camera a little, little wonky there. Then we got that snorkel. I think we're doing pretty good making our way there. We got more than, well, yeah, three quarters of a tank of gas still. Muddy, muddy, muddy. Nothing but a thing for this pickup, or this rig, buddy. Ain't nothing but a thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop off our concrete blocks on this side. Um. Well, we want to drop off. No. We want to drop off some stuff here. Well, we might have to get the metal beams first, so let's go ahead and drop it off up here. Now this trailer is funky to back up, so we might... Just flip a hard UE here and leave it in this flat spot. Right here, so she doesn't roll down the hill. Okay, so we're good there. So we we got that ready for that one. So we need to bring some other stuff first. Let's make it back through here. try to open up the highways here so that way we can access we don't necessarily have to go up these roads all the time because this road they continually degrade so oh buddy come on get on up the other side winch points on this side. Yes, there we go. Where's our music when we need it? Yes. I feel like this is worse coming back the other way here. She's temperamental, this truck. Sometimes she does real good. Other times you're like, come on, buddy, let's go. Yeah, we got our all-wheel drive on, just making sure. 
come up here and try to go to the left of these big rocks here. Tap the front. There we go. The worst is behind us. tight squeeze here. Now, I've never driven through the mountains in a rig like this, but I've done my fair share of off-roading. In tight spots like that. We're going to swing in at the gas station and get some gas so we have enough to get back to the uh, back to the lumber mill. Because if there's one thing that this old truck likes to do, she likes to drink. Let's go ahead and get in here. She likes to drink, so got to top her off all the time. Too bad, 16 gallons. We'll give it, uh, yeah, top her off now. Gotta top her off. Now we're going to town. Now make sure we're going the right way. Okay, good. Just making sure. It sucks to get all the way down there and then be like, what? I took the wrong path. Looking in the rear views there. The load looks like it's sitting pretty good. Dodge those big rocks. Dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. All right, let's see if we can't make it through here now. All right, settle down now, settle down. Oh, buddy, we ain't, we're not even in all-wheel drive. This truck's a beast. All right. All right, what is this doing here? Why are we not doing that? Concrete blocks, metal beams to the fallen power line. Okay, we're here. There we go.
There you go, brother. All right. Now we want to make sure that we that the mountain bridge they need concrete blocks which we got over there and metal beams. Now we could go all the way tracking back through the mountains or we can just run over here to town. So let's just run over here to town. Get us some metal beams from over there. Get these highways open up. comes the rain. I could be wrong and it might be just psychological but I feel like the rain definitely impacts the terrain because it might be kind of dried out a little bit and you're driving through just fine and buddy it starts to rain and you're slipping and sliding and stuck up to the bumper. Go ahead and go all the way around again. I just don't know if I can make it around that uh, that little spot over there in this truck. Not sure. Oh, fog's starting to get to us here. Oh, we got it. We need to get some. We need to get some fog lights on this baby. That small terrains, that would really be helpful. Definitely need us some all terrain tires. Bum, bum, bum. I don't know. And look at the fall colors and stuff. The, the fall colors mixed with the green and the fog. Let's go back out here. I mean, you talk about just setting a tone here. That just, that just feels like you're there, you know what I mean? Loving this game. Absolutely loving it. If you guys got any other suggestions, let me know. By the way, if you like this content and if you like this game, if you like this channel, go ahead and hit like and then subscribe and we will keep this stuff up. We're here just to have fun and to play games and to watch and to just hang out, man. That's what we're here to do. And we're trying to grow this community and try to grow this channel and uh, gotta hit subscribe. Gotta hit subscribe, so do that. Let's we'll see if we can't not take out our axle here. There we go. Yeah, hit like and subscribe, man, and we'll, we're gonna keep playing games like this. And like this land is my land. Don't worry. I, I know I got a bunch of people that like that game too. I do too. So don't worry. We're gonna keep it on up. Keep it up. We got a whole new year ahead of us. We've only just begun. Okay. So we need some metal beams. Oops. No, we don't want to load it there. Yeah, we want to load it there. There we go. <laughs> well, we got some sitting there waiting for us. Bowling and bar. Well, that sounds like fun. A bookstore. Man. Coffee. Man, this little town's got it going on. Oh, I touched that. I touched that one cone. America. Home of the free. Land of the brave. You know it. And if you didn't, you do now. <laughs> Whoa. Forgot about that uh, first step there. It's a Lulu. We get our all-wheel drive coming back. In. I mean, look at that, man! The mountains in the background with the autumn colors of the aspen trees and the and the evergreens, so the fir trees, pine trees, whatever. Perfect. And that fog, man, it just makes it to where you just can't see. 
Love it. Absolutely love it. Nice. Oh. There's a pole. I'm sitting here looking around. That's all right. We'll take her back to the garage. I'm sitting here looking out my windows like, hey, look, cool. And then, bam. She'll be all right. No real damage. <laughs> now you can check on the damage. Got to go into your functions. But we're good. Got to get these metal beams over there, man, so we can get that highway open. Keep the truckers moving. Gotta keep your eyes on the roads, kids. That's why you saw me hit that pole. Uh -oh. If you get your eyes off the road when you're texting and driving and stuff, you know, you're gonna end up driving like me and hitting poles and stuff or hitting people or in cars. So, no texting and driving. Keep your eyes on the, on the road. Oh man, it's looking like a nice sunset. Look at the sun shining through those trees. Great, man. Oh man, look at this. We did this. Not that. Now, we're gonna need to, oh, we need to check our gas levels just to make sure because we need to go over the hill and come back and get that trailer. Well, I'm not too excited about that because I just got done telling you that Oh no, we, we, I think we can go back over the top. It took me a second to figure out how to offload it there too, so I think I can, I just didn't do it right. I'm not planning on pulling that trailer up that, up that, uh, hilltop, so. Either way, let's check our gas. Always swing in. lights are on. Yeah, we definitely need to get us some fog lights. Sixteen gallons? Good. That's one thing I've never done. The, the manual on, a, on the column. I've driven manual, stick shift, I've driven that lots of times, but I've never driven a manual that's on the column, up by the driver's, uh, up by the wheel. Never. List of things to do, man, list of things to do.
cargo management? Uh, yes. Unload those beams. There's our trailer on the other side. We would have had it already, but I didn't do it right, so. That's all right. We'll go venturing. We know we can make it up here. take out those trees either man because you're gonna sometimes you need those suckers I'll tell you what we need to do is go find that scout he's up there on the other side of town drop it back into first gear might go find that one next. We'll get this bridge done. We'll go find that scout. I think we still have the Chevrolet up there in town, so we'll we'll take the Chevrolet up the up that road there to try to get to that scout. Cause buddy, that little scout. She might be a little top heavy, but I'll tell you what, I haven't found a place where she couldn't go. I flipped her over a few times, but. See if we can't get a highway open all the way around this mountain, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, buddy, you can do it. My grandfather, he used to drive a semi truck back up in Michigan he used to haul logs out of the mountains in Michigan it's a long time ago I don't even know I don't even know uh, how long ago that was but he was older when he died if he had if he hadn't died he probably would have lived to be a 90 or a hundred but he did, oh my gosh. But he did fight in World War II, which is more than most people can say about their grandfathers. And I, I'll tell you this much, I ain't that old. So settle down. Settle down with yourselves there. I'm not that old. Man, we need some lights. This camera angle's got me all jacked up. Well, I don't want to pull the tree out. I want to leave it there because once it's gone, I don't know if they come back. But man, it's getting kind of deep right there. I don't know how many more times we're going to be able to come through here. But see what I mean? How the more you the more you come through here, the more jacked up it gets. Almost out of the thick of it. There we go.
All right, let's get this done. Attach that trailer. Go ahead and get turned around here. Maybe we can do it here. A little bit of damage. There we go. There we go. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and leave this guy here. Where's our Chevrolet? Let's see. Because I know that scout is over here and I want that scout so here's our Chevrolet and we're gonna come right here maybe we'll come up here real quick well I think we're gonna I think it's right here we'll go up to this watchtower here with the old Chevrolet there we go She's not very good, but she'll do. Go ahead and get that all-wheel drive. It's almost a must on these on these roads. That's why I want that Scout. It already comes with it with the locking differentials and all that. Bum, 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 right on there. Boom, bouncing around. Man, this is how I blew up my first truck. Driving through mud puddles and going mud bogging and yep. Yeah, that that's how I did it. Go find that tower real quick and that way we can see. Take out this picket fence first. Whoa, wonky. There we go. There's that watchtower. We'll go light up the area here. Go ahead and check this one. Yeah. We need to do all these tasks, so. May as well get them going. Huh. Looks like a muddy road there, buddy. Holy moly. Here's another one. Go ahead and get these tasks unlocked. That way we at least have a list of what we want, what we need to get done. I'm just curious if I'm going to be able to make it over there. There we go. Uh oh. Spoke too soon. No visible winch marks. Yes. Woo. 
wasn't sure we were going to be able to get out of that. And what sucks, I mean, you can recover it, but then you lose all the progress you just made. Notice I did not sing on that one. I wanted to, but I did not. I, will, I let you guys listen. Okay, where's that scout? There it is. Scout 800. Okay, I would go this way, but I don't know if I can get up that way. Let's see. Hmm. Well, there's only one way to find out, right, boys? Well, I mean, look at that road. Holy crud. I don't know if I can get through that. Oh man, ain't nothing but a gangster party. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I thought it was gonna be worse. Woo. Good, good. Yeah, I don't like to have to recover my vehicles because then you lose all the forward progress that you were making here and you gotta start back at the garage. You're like, oh man, come on. All right, are we headed the right direction? Gotta take a right right there, buddy. Don't wanna drive past it. Or if you flip over, oh man, that sucks get all the way up one of these roads and then flip your car and you have to get it recovered oh man and then I think you lose your your uh, well whatever you're bringing to them um, let's go ahead and do that one activated let's go find that scout holy moly Can't see. Good, at least it's a big tree. turn guys alright that was a muddy one I might need that winch point better settle down check our map again and make sure we're headed the right way. Okay, good. So this is a long ways to go without knowing we're going the right way here. I don't know if the old Fleet Star would have made it up here. Can't say that about her. Of course she would have. But I'm glad we brought the Chevrolet. Oh man. Notice they give you winch marks all, or winch points along the way. That's good. We're almost there. It'd suck to get stuck now, buddy. progress oh there 
there she is. Imagine. Oh, yes. Awesome. So now we have the Scout 800 in our uh, fleet. What is this one requiring here? Um, is it the Riverside Repair? Service parts? Of course. Wooden planks delivered to the boatsman's house. Uh -huh. Well, we could do that one. We could do that one with the setup we have right here. Go get some service parts, come back over here, get some wood planks, and take it up there. Okay. Well, let's drive the Scout for a minute. Well, let's get her back to the garage. Nice. Can't add the snorkel yet. I would like to, but we don't. Can put the roof rack, but if you've tried it, you know why I'm not. Um, we could get some all terrains. Ooh, I like the BFGs. Let's see. Average, good. We want good for mud. Good for mud, those are 31s. We want. Yeah. Definitely want those guys. And let's see what we can do for color. Oh, buddy, I, I like that. That looks cool. Yes. Okay. So we're going to park her out front. And we'll take the uh, uh, the other one over to the get the service parts real quick. Nice. Okay, and that one I want to do. The, uh, okay, which way do we want to go here? We need to make it back through, but I don't know if I want to make it through with that trailer. This King of the Hill one, you got to come all the way up here to this peak, and then you got to come up to that peak, and that is, ooh, that is some sketchy stuff. Um, I want to do that one with the Scout. We will. First, let's get back up the hill here. Let's make sure that we're going the right direction. We want to do this one. Riverside repair. We need service parts. And the service parts are back at that warehouse. So that's where we need to go. I don't like going this way. This is some sketch right there. So that's why I'm going up and around. Kind of wish we could open up this highway here. We'll have to see if we can't open the highway all the way around. Maybe we can just... Yeah. We'll just have to see. But for now we got to come up this way and then circle back around. With the trailer. Now, I couldn't make it up the other side with the trailer, but I'll take it down. And then we'll come through the bottom there. Hopefully we can make it through the mud. We'll have to see too if there's anything else that we need while we're over there. We might load it down with something else and deliver some more stuff while we're there. Okay, there we go. So if we need like bricks or more concrete slabs somewhere else, we'll go ahead and get those too. Or if we need four service parts, we'll ahead and go ahead and get those, drop those off at another task, and then move our way up. Not bad, not bad. 
She's not fast, but she's getting it done. mile at a time. There's that troublesome rock. It's hard to get over coming up. At least with the tires I have. I have highway tires on this truck right now. So if I had some like mud tires or off-road tires on this sucker, man, I could probably go anywhere it would fit. It's awfully sketchy here. And I wish that driving on it would actually make it better, but it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. I can see it. Oh man, come on. Little bit of winch help. Hey, toting this trailer around, that's what makes it difficult. Better than making two trips up here, though. Am I right? That means yes. And we're driving like we're in low gear, but we're not. just legit hard on the truck. Hopefully we have enough gas to get back. Alright, well that was a haul. We're going to have to go back that way too because we can't go the other way with the trailer. I don't want to get stuck. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at what we needed here.
Okay. So for this one here, we need... Um, service parts one. Where's the rock slide? Okay, so we could take a service parts up there. What else do we need, though? We need... Uh, okay, that one. Yes, I get that one. We're doing riverside repair. We need two service parts there. I can get wood planks down at the other side, closer to town. Stuck trailers way over there, and missing oil tanker. But what else do we need? Farming tools. Well, we can do that one here in a minute. I'm just trying to find something that I can do for a little extra cash. Bricks. Oh my gosh. We're not going up there yet. Lost container. Um, logs. Okay. Well, apparently, oh, consumables. Hmm. I was hoping to have another one where we could drop off some stuff here. So rock slide needs that one. That's up here. So we're trying to get to here and here. So if we take three service parts, we can take two here, one here, and stuck trailer, no. We're doing that one. All right, well, it looks like we're just gonna have to get some service parts. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And we'll just keep one service parts on that trailer after we're done dropping them off. Try to knock out a couple of these things so we don't have to come all the way back over here for one. Oh no! <laughs> Dead gamut. Alright, the long trek back to town here. It's just over this mountain here. Once we get there, it's all highway, but that go. Getting there is the hard part. Whoa, lose the trailer. And you might think, yeah, go left. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, go left. There's a bog over there. making our way. Maybe we'll make it better with better traction. Although it's this that's weighing us down literally. It's the ability to climb up out of those ruts is what helps us get out. getting pulled back in. Oh, 
There we go. Ooh, muddy. Muddy buddy. That one dead tree right there. There we go. Oh man. That wasn't even the hard part. The hard part's up here after this stream, huh? Go ahead and get our differential locks going. Nice and slow going here. Hopefully we can make it to the gas station. We need some all terrains or some mud tires or off road tires, one of anything but these highway tires. I mean, we're doing pretty good with these highway tires, honestly. Imagine if we had off road tires. Man. Now, here's the tested thing right here. We've got to see if we can make it up that hill. So, get us going a little bit faster. comes the here comes the hard part here this might be difficult but man it looks beautiful go ahead and get our low gears going here Trees a little too small. Not giving up. I'm not giving up. If all else fails, what I'll do is I'll go get the GMC and I'll park it up on the hill there and help pull me out. But I'm not giving up on the parts here. 
bad we can't have any better trees here. The real question is, are we gonna, if we don't make it out soon, we're gonna run out of gas. Hey, there we go. Persistence. Yeah, we made it like one. There we go. So you just gotta, you just gotta let the truck do its, do what it's doing, and kind of cut another path. Let's see, we're heavy because we're pulling that tree over. I didn't want to pull that. I don't want to pull the trees out because you need them just for a little bit, just to help you out the out of the ruts there. Whew. Oh, here's that rain too, so that's probably not helping. All right, well, good, good job. The what is this one? The Fleet Star 2078. I like that one. Well, we made it through, boys. Let's go ahead and keep moving. Grab a water and go flying off the road. Got about a quarter tank, I would say. It's a lot of fuel getting these parts over the mountains. Look at that rain. Oh man. At least they don't charge you for fuel. I was thinking about that earlier. If, you, if they charged you for fuel, you would you wouldn't have money to do anything else. Unless they paid you like double or triple or quadruple for everything you did. Oh man, we have 15 gallons left. We are top now. Topped off now, it's all highway from here because we already cleared it out, remember? Good job, trucker. Trucker man. Straight on down the road. Sweet. Well, I would say sweet, but it's actually, we still have quite a ways to go. Still have a little ways to go. Ooh, if we don't lose it first. Imagine that, that would suck. You can lose your stuff off the back of these trucks too.
They just don't make trucks like they used to, man. I like that wood paneling inside that truck. So let's see what we need is... We need two wood planks as well to take to that. Right? Or was it metal beams? Maybe it was metal beams. We'll check before we go past it. Service parts and... Let's check. So we're doing this one right now. Wooden planks times two. Okay. I like how they do that. I really do. Where it's like, if you're looking and you're watching the road and then you see that fox and then you look away and you look back and he's gone, that's exactly how it is, you know? One second they're there and one second they're gone. I haven't seen any moose though. I don't know, if, I don't know what kind of animals there are in this game, but there's that fox. trailer back over there with some wooden planks. So I think I'll leave this one here. Save myself some time. And take this other trailer. Take that trailer over there. Oh, for the love of... Boom. So then we got that. So that's all we need for this one. Riverside repair. Two wooden planks and two service parts. And that's what we got, buddy. And there's $1,600 in our pocket. That's if we can get out of this mud hole. Ain't nothing but a thing. I know that that uh, road that we went up with the Chevrolet was a little bit rough. So... Let's look at our map here and we'll see if there's not another way to the boat ramp. Or the boat master's house, whatever his name is. So, we're trying to go here. There's an upgrade too. Okay, we're trying to go here. There's a road right here. I think we'll take that road in and go that way. Because the other way was just a little too rough. Those fresh cut logs. Big old four by fours or something. Yeah, drop it down into first there, buddy. We got some weight to tow. That looks cool, man. The detail on the logs. Just like on the crates. Even the straps. 
everything just looks great in this game. Really, really, really appreciate it. Really digging it. getting there you can see those front tires spinning they're cat they're losing traction and then they catch it <laughs> Oops. there we go it's towing this trailer up there we could take two loads I guess but eh. we'll just try to tow the trailer in there and see how how stuck we can get Finally, I finally made it out of first gear. There's a big semi trailer over there too, we'll get eventually. our turn. Let's see what we can do. Unventured territory here. It's a little windy here. There's the lake. What is this? A four-wheeler trail? Holy moly. I say four wheeler, I mean like ATV, man. This is a little, seems a little too small for this guy here, but. Man. Well, there goes that winch point. Oh, buddy. Oh, we're making decent time, though. Where's that road? So what happens when you take a big rig up where a four-wheeler is supposed to go? Okay. Oh, there it is. Let's say, where is the road? No winch points yet. That's good. Buddy, is that where we're supposed to be? Oh, yes. Now. Oh, man. Can we make it? Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Okay. Go ahead and unload those. Down here. Well, that was good. Now, we just got to get out of here.
Oh, come on. It's just a little bit. I don't know why he wanted it offloaded back here. How the heck am I supposed to... I hope my trailer doesn't get stuck here. Fence can come down. All right. Well. <laughs> well, if that's the case, sorry, but. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go grab that other trailer with service parts. And actually, what I think we're gonna do after we get out of here, we'll get this truck back to town, and then I'm gonna grab that scout. We're gonna go up a little, do a little bit of off-roading, and then we're gonna call it a day here. Man, look at this beast. There we go. Just needed a little traction is all. So we're making money slowly but surely. seems like it's a good idea to go ahead and leave the trees, even the small ones if you can, and just hook up to them and pull a little bit and just see if you can't get yourself some traction and then let it go versus going through and just pulling them all down. Because you never know when you're going to have to come back up here and you might need that spot again as we drive over all of them. Obviously, we wouldn't need it here. Lots of big trees around here. Where's the road? There we go. Where does that road go? I don't know. It's a venture for another day. Because for now, we're going to go take that scout. We're going to go up to the top of that, one of those peaks. Because that is some fun off-road in there. That's assuming we can get out of this mud with the rain coming in here. The town's flooded out and it's still raining. Man, these sure the trees sure start to glow with that sunset. The aesthetics of this game are awesome. They are on point. Okay, that's the service part. We have those already sitting there. All right, well we made it out of the mountains on that one. Okay. Go ahead and leave this guy here. And let's go try a little bit of off-roading here. So we have us some all-terrain tires. And some crappy lights here. But we'll... Let's see if we can get a light bar real quick for the fog. Customize, let's see. Aesthetics. Rims. They only give you two choices. Uh, miscellaneous. Um, let's see, rooftop here. Definitely low with that. Rear bumper. Yeah, we're good for now. 
We just want those lights so we can actually see. Okay, where are we going? We're going up to the top of one of these peaks here. Over here. I think we're going up there. Let's go find it. Yep, we want to go right here. So now, for the first time, you're going to get to see why I haven't come through here with the truck yet. I could make it through with the Fleet Star, but it's just a, kind of a pain. Go ahead and get our R wheel. This one always has a differential lock on there. And hopefully these all-terrain tires will get us through. There we go. You know, just, all we have is this all-terrain tires, but hey, you know what? That seems to be working pretty good. Better than highway tires. Okay, is this our turn here? Yep. Left and left. Left and left. Let's go ahead and see if we can't flip this sucker over, because... I have. After driving this thing around though, this is what made me want to go get a Scout 800. It's like, yes. I want me one of these guys, man. Okay. King of the Hill. You sure have been busy lately. Why not take some time out to enjoy the local country? I've marked a couple locations on your map that offer fantastic views. Be sure to check them out. Will do. And we're going to track this one. So now we got to go up here. So here we go. Boy, that light bar isn't very bright, is it? Now, a real master would probably, oh, would be able to drive this up. In first person, but I don't think I could. I can do that. Why are we going that way? Holy hell! Holy hell! I don't even know what was catching us there. Well, we're started again. Oh. 
I don't even know what uh, what got us caught there. Well, that w that was uh, f fortunate for us. Unfortunately, I can't really see. And these lights are no good. Uh oh. Well, unfortunately, we got a stick sticking out of the hood, but let's go ahead and try that again. And see, I feel like in real life, you would have a little bit more control over the accelerator. Really? Because this one just jumps around like crazy. It's like, well... Actually... In reality... Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Go ahead and go low gears. That way we go slower. Because we're getting too much jumping around. <coughs> and I feel like, in real life, we wouldn't have that problem. At least in the off-roading that I've done. I've never had, like, to where your acceleration is just jumping around like crazy, but... Hey, you know, maybe, maybe some newbies out there are hitting the accelerator like crazy. I like that stick. Okay. Make sure we're still going the right direction here. Yep. Nice and easy. This is a lot of fun here. I've been, for, for me personally, I, I'm not sure if I've ever been in any four-wheel drive situations quite this extreme, but pretty close. Pretty close. I mean, I haven't done any, like, rock climbing or anything. But that's, like, a whole different style of four-wheel driving. This is, like, mountain driving up, up, yeah, just mountain driving. This isn't like rock climber crazy. Well, we rolled this, we rolled it twice here. And now our Scout 800 has antlers. Nice and easy. the terrain to help us turn. You don't want to start backing down now, buddy. You're going to, if you start backing down now, you're going all the way down.
Almost there. Now we know why our scout has antlers. Because we flipped it. Very nice, very nice. All right, everybody, we're going to call it a day here. And we will come back on the next episode of SnowRunner. And we will go up to the next peak and continue to do the missions here in Michigan. And maybe go over to the next region over and try some stuff there. But for sure, we will be back. But I just want to thank everybody for watching. Hit a like and a subscribe if you enjoy this game and this content. And let's, uh, we'll keep it up. And hopefully going into 2022, we will uh, get this uh, channel growing. And, and we'll have a lot more fun. A lot of fun just playing games and doing what we want to do. But hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. Thanks for taking your time to uh, watch us go up the hill here with the Scout 800. And we will see you guys on the next episode. Alright everybody, you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.